Well, Danny, three points here against Barnoldswick. You must be a happy man. Very happy, obviously. It's about winning games of football and, you know, you come, come away and you, you've won. Um, it doesn't matter how you do it sometimes. Um, you, you just need to, which is what we, we needed to do this week. Um, and, and the lads have done that. I know it's still really early days, isn't it? But the game had a real top of the table clash to it, didn't it? Yeah, it did, from minute one, really. Um, and then they were very direct, which is what we expected. And, you know, we, we drilled it into the lads to, to not only deal with the first ball, but the second balls, picking up the bits and that. We, uh, we didn't start so great, but at the end of the day, we've got the three points. How much do we need that opening goal? Because uh, before it, the hosts really were dictating play, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, we just weren't looking long enough, early enough. Um, but once we, we, we shouted onto the lads, just, just go along, drop it in behind, work the channels, it gave them all sorts of problems and obviously we went and scored. Settled, settled us down um, for a period, didn't it? And what a great strike from Aaron Dwyer to make it to as well. Yeah, he's, honestly, he's been, he's been brilliant since he came in. Um, and, you know, it just goes to show hard work and he's just put a shift in every game and he, he deserves his goals and his assists. You said it so many times, Danny, but in terms of shutting the opposition out, how disappointing was it to concede just before the interval? Yeah, I mean, that's probably the downside. To I mean, all the goals we've conceded during the season have been preventable. That's the thing. Um, but we are a work in progress. The group is learning and slowly, slowly gelling together. Um, there's loads, loads more to come from us as a football team, um, which we will get better. We, you know, there's no two ways about it. Did that goal all to your half-time message at all? Yeah, obviously, because they're back in the game um, from being 2 0 up cruising to a certain degree. So then, obviously, it gives them a little bit of momentum. It gets their, their tails up and they're coming out the second half knowing that, you know, put, put us under pressure and they get another goal. It could be, you know, tables are turning and they're, they're looking like the favourites. But the lads were magnificent to, to a man, even the subs that come on, um, put a real, real shift in. The second half was very different, wasn't it, in some respects? But how much did it show the, the defensive resilience that you've asked for so many times? That's what it's all about. I mean, we're saying we're coming to places like this and, you know, it's not going to be pretty. You know, we, we saw that at Winsford away. It wasn't pretty. You've got to learn how to win ugly in this league. Um, and the lads, the lads are getting there, you know. Like I said, I said during pre-season that we will be a work in progress for that first month because it's a new group of lads. It's just getting them to do the ugly side of the game, scrapping, winning the second balls, helping your mate out, getting back into shape early, not being lazy. All those little things make a massive, mass, massive difference. In terms of defence, it was a great debut for Jacob Hansen, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought he was, he was excellent throughout, as, as was the whole squad. Um, the subs that come on, like I say, the back four were amazing. City, unbelievable, the monster at the back. And he's not even a centre-back, but you know you can put him in and... You know you're going to get 110%. He's going to, he's going to put his head on the line, get his, you know, get his head kicked in. He's that type of player, and I thought it was fantastic. And then young Louis next to him, he was composed and, and put a real shift in as well. So them two were magnificent. All this goes back to what we talked about seven days ago, of course, doesn't it? And that's about passion and desire. You've got that today. Yeah, haven't you? yeah, 100%. We got it in abundance. Um, but we just said to him in there, look, it's only one game. We've got a massive game Monday. Uh, which will be completely different to today's game. Um, and, and it's just about applying yourselves, isn't it? I've said that again and again. It's, it could be all clichés and that, but until the players start you know, understanding, then we'll keep, keep telling them. In what was the first road, Ed, Eddie Miyako was Simbin, of course, for descent. What did you make of it? Yeah, I, I had no idea. I thought he'd been sent off at one, one second. I thought, what's going on here? Because it was something or nothing. I thought, I thought he was having a laugh. It was, it was like Simbin. You're mad, but they're, they're the rules in these leagues, which are obviously different. So, you know, but it went on forever. It's like 15 minutes, not 10. So you're thinking, oh my God, everything's just going against us, isn't it? But, you know, the lads dug in, went 4 4 1, nice and compact, and, you know, you just got to get through it. It's all set up for the Cheshire Derby on Monday now, isn't it? It is, yeah, it is. We can start looking to that now. Um, like I said to the lads, we take each game at a time. You know, we'll assess, assess the players tomorrow morning shall we say um, seeing, seeing how they are getting ready for Monday thanks Danny cheers